Well, everyone loves a little competition, especially when it's for a good cause. And we, the We Are Blood annual Battle of the Badges blood drive, pitting first responders against each other, does just that. It wrapped up today. KBU's Louise DeLeon shows us why this is just, this is more than just a friendly competition. This blood donation center is one of three throughout Austin, but it's also home to the 11th annual Battle of the Badges, a week-long friendly competition among Austin's fire, EMS, and police departments to see who can recruit more blood donors. Every time you come in, it's a great thing. Um, this just helps up the supply. Tina Johnson has been a phlebotomist at We Are Blood for almost 10 years. You get people that wouldn't ordinarily donate. Maybe once they're here, we can give them a great experience and they become regular donors after that. When donors check in, they can say which department they're voting for and then receive a limited edition Battle of the Badges t-shirt. Some of my closest friends are first responders and anything I can do to help support them as well, you know, it's always nice. Officials with the organization tell me they expect over 500 people to donate and vote. It is an opportunity for people to give back, to show some recognition for those first responders and for they themselves to sort of be a responder, very much be a responder to help their community. Rob Hill is the community outreach manager for We Are Blood and says events like this benefit all parties involved. Plus on a day to day basis they're out there and they see that uh, anybody might very well be in need of blood. The donation center hopes events like this attract more donors. Blood donation needs to be an ongoing thing. We need to make a habit of it. Um, so that we always have a sustainable supply. A friendly competition for a bigger cause. It's only five, 10, 20 minutes in your day sometimes. It's worth it. In Austin, Luis De Leon, KVU News. I know you guys are itching to know who the winner is. Well, you'll just have to tune in to KVU News Midday at 11 a.m. on Tuesday. We'll announce which first responder group wins live during the newscast.